Hey, uh, welcome back to Milso TV Fridays. Um, if you're new to the channel, I'm Samantha. Um, I guess this week we're talking about uh, supermodo girlfriends. Um, when I saw the first couple of posts, I was like, oh my god, two weeks in a row that I don't know what's going on. So <laughs> um, I watched them throughout the week and, well, I have stuff to talk about because apparently I'm a supermodo girlfriend. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. Like, based off of what I've been seeing, I don't think I'm, like, super moto, but I think I'm, like, acceptable moto. <laughs> um, so, if you don't know what that is, like, I didn't. It's the kind of girlfriends that are, like, um, really, like, motivated and they're, like, super into um, their guy or their girlfriends or their husband or wife's branch or whatever it is, you know? And, um... Yeah, so they're, like, really, like, gung-ho. Um, so the reason I say that I'm not, like, super moto, but that I am moto, <laughs> um, I, I mean, if you look at my Tumblr, um, I do post, like, a lot of military stuff. Um, I do wear his clothes <laughs> and stuff. Um, but it's all things like he's given me because he wants me to wear it, not like I take it and I'm like, oh, I want to represent you. Um, so I have, let me reach over into my laundry pile. I have his shirt from Basic um, that he shrunk the first time he ever did laundry because he never had to do laundry by himself. And then I have, he's in weapons. So I have a shirt he got me that says weapons, and then on the back it says, weapons, get some, <laughs> providing our enemies a chance to die for their countries. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. Normally I wear them, though, like, on, like, a lazy day. Um, like, if I'm going to class, like, I mean, today I actually got up and kind of got ready after I went to the gym, with the exception of, like, this situation. But, um, I mean, normally I don't wear his clothes. That's my comfort stuff. Like, normally I wear things like this. Like, my shirt with a squirrel doing nunchucks. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, um, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't have, like, stickers all over my car or anything. But I wear a piece of the ABUs with the yellow ribbon to represent, like, supporting the troops. Um. And then a friend of mine at school is also an Air Force SO, and so she and I, um, a couple weeks ago, ordered, like, custom name tapes that they make into bracelets. Uh, but, uh, yeah. But, I mean, other than that, I'm not really, like, I don't wear it on myself that I'm an Air Force SO. Um, and I don't think John would like that. I mean, his mom is, like, a supermodel mom. Uh, like, in every way, like, she's got the car sticker, she's got the t-shirt, she carries a bag, she wears, like, bracelets and stuff, she's, all the time, every chance she can to throw it into a conversation, it's, she's, my son, my, you know, my son's an airman, blah, 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 which, like, she's proud of him or whatever, it's understandable, um, but I know he hates that, and he would hate it if he came home and he saw that, like, all I was was, like, oh, look at my boyfriend, he's in the Air Force, blah, 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 um, <laughs> So, yeah, so that's part of the reason that, like, I'm not that way. And plus, like I said in my last video, like, I want to still, like, retain who I am, whether he's gone or not, because I wasn't defined by his job before he had it, and neither was he. So we shouldn't lose those parts of who we are. Um, I will say, though, um... I have encountered some girls that are, like, ridiculous. Um, there's definitely a point where moto gets too moto. Like, um, something that really bothers me is um, my college has an ROTC program, and it's, it's Army ROTC. Um, and I'm all for, like, supporting other branches and whatever. Like, I have absolutely nothing against the branch, so I want to say that. That's something that I'm really against is, like, being, like, one branch is better than another. But I'll get into that. Um, but it's Army ROTC. And there's a girl in one of my classes who she's like, oh, my boyfriend's in the Army, blah, 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 like, on and on and on. 
And she's like, oh, it's so hard to be an army girlfriend and all this stuff. And I'm like, your boyfriend's in the next classroom because we're all in the same department. Like, I saw him when I walked to class. He's sitting in the next room. And, I mean, that probably sounds bad because, I mean, she is like an, an SO technically, I guess. But, and I don't mean to say like one girl is is less of an SO, but I don't know, that just bothers me. When he hasn't ever reported for duty and he gets up at, you know, six to go to PT. Like, that kind of bothers me. And, um, I don't know. I don't know if that's something I'm supposed to say or not. But, um, yeah. But, um, like I was saying about, like, the branch, the <laughs> branch bashing. I can't talk today. I've already tried to make this video, like, three times and I just can't speak. So I'm at the point where I'm like, whatever, let's just go with it. Um. Like, when John is home, we hang out with um, his friends a lot because I understand that, you know, he's only home for a certain amount of time. So, of course, he wants to see his friends. And, you know, if he wants to bring me to do that so he can, like, double up his time, then I'm all for that. Um, and I've never really been experienced, like, not experienced, exposed <laughs> to um, military life. Because other than my grandfather being in the Navy before I was born, I have no, like, attachment to anything. Um, so it's really interesting. Like, when he was home on leave this time, his best friend is a Marine. And um, they were home at the same time. So I got to see kind of, like, the difference between them as far as, like, how their branches have molded them. But you can still see who they were, like, as civilians. Um, and then... I know a couple people that are in the army, um, and I mean, you just see, like, they all do the same work, like, um, I'm a bride's, well, I'm the maid of honor in my sister's wedding in a couple of months, and, um, one of her bridesmaids is, um, a girl that, I mean, we've known for a long time, and she's in the Navy currently, and, um, I don't know, I don't know, it's just, like, you, like, meet these people as civilians, but then you also see them as, who they are is like service men and women and I don't know it just shows you like why would you want to put down one or the other I mean they're all in different fields and they do different jobs but that doesn't mean one's better than the other like they went into these jobs for a reason and we should be supportive of the I can't talk again supportive of them because they're doing something that I mean we're not doing it someone's got to and they're doing it so why would we put them down um and I mean I have dated civilians, and while I'm really proud of John and everything that he does, um, I mean, civilian guys are great, too. Everyone has their good attributes, and I don't know. People are dumb. <laughs> I don't know. I'm in a weird mood today. I'm just like, oh, blunt, whatever it is. I don't care. I don't care about anything. Um, so, yeah. Um, but I will say that, um, I'm really guilty of saying, like, my airmen. Um, I understand completely the whole, like, their government property, you shouldn't say my, like, in terms of their job, and you shouldn't say, like, they're your airmen, or your sailor, or your marine, or anything, um, because, um, they aren't defined by their job. I'm completely aware of that. Um, but the way that I use it normally... Like, after I watched the first video, I went and I looked through my Tumblr because I was like, I know I write it, but how much do I write it? And, um, I mean, on my Tumblr, it's, like, all over the place. It's my airman this, my airman that. But then, um, like, in my regular day-to-day -day life, when I'm talking to my friends or my family, I don't say my airman. I say John or I say my John or, like, babe or baby or whatever. You know, any of the names that we call or call each other, like... I, don't know. I guess it's just because, like, people online, um, I know for myself, like, I mean, I'll follow any Milso, but when I'm looking at a Milso, like, one of the first things I'm looking at on Tumblr, I'm like, oh, I wonder what branch her boyfriend or her husband or girlfriend or wife or whatever is in, and, um, I don't know, it's just, I think I do it so that, like, if people look at my, my Tumblr, they're like, oh, okay, she's an Air Force girlfriend. But I don't know, now I'm trying to, like, watch it because I'm like, oh, jeez. Because everyone, I see everyone, like, don't do that, don't do that. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, 
yeah, I guess that's how I feel about like super su uh, super moto situation. Um, just don't be annoying with it. Be like reserved, I guess. Um, I don't know. It's hard to have feelings about it when like you realize after people are talking about it like that you do it. I'm like, oh geez, I thought it was just being normal, and all of a sudden I have like a label on me, and I'm like, Ugh. um. So yeah, but um. I mean, I also, like, part of this channel, I guess, is just, like, updating everyone on things that are going on. So, um, before I close out my video, I guess ju I'll just, like, update you on what's going on with our relationship. Um, John's still in Homestead. Um, we've almost got a month. They're done. It'll be, like, a month and, like, a week and a half, something like that. Um. But I'm expecting him to come home for a visit sometime in February uh, for like a day or two. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, we're talking a lot about marriage right now. So I'm really excited for that. I mean, I don't have a ring on my finger, but I'm hoping. <laughs> um, um, but uh, more directly, we're talking about um, I graduate college. Um, when he gets home, I'll have seven months of college left. And... Um, He's been talking to an FWC recruiter down there, like the Florida Wildlife Controller or whatever, and um, they might send him to Academy when he gets off orders. So we would be graduating right about the same time, and uh, John told me he would really like to look for a little townhouse or something together. So we're looking forward to uh, getting our first place. It's something to look forward to, something to keep pushing me through school. Um, so... And that's where we stand right now. Things are going really well. We're getting to Skype each other a lot. Um, and it's, uh, we had one fight last weekend. I'm not going to get into it, but we were fighting. But um, I'm so thankful for Skype because normally, like, when he was in tech school or something or when he was home and we couldn't be with each other, we had to, like, text it out. And I'm just glad we're not doing that. But, um, yeah, so that's where we stand. This is getting super long and super rambly, and I'm, like, dumb in my brain today, so I'm going to cut it off. And I got to go to class anyway, so, <laughs> um. So yeah, um, tune in next week on Friday. I'll be your poster again. Um, if you want to follow me on Tumblr, it's samcran.tumblr.com. That's S-A-M-C-R-A-N.tumblr.com. All right, I'll see you next week. Have a good one.